Um, the Bible instructs us to sing praises to the Lord and give thanks to his holy name. A warm welcome to all who have come to worship our creator and Lord. With sincere gratitude, let us praise God. Let's begin with joys, God's sightings, and announcements. Oh. Sorry. Got ahead of myself, guys. Bring it in the Christ light. Now, how's what we get to those joys, God sightings, and announcements? Good morning, everyone. Easter, and also I let you know that the tickets for the high tea have been ordered. I expect them to be in this week, so next Sunday they will start. I'll uh, start selling them. Um, if if you could put your name in an envelope, the number of tickets you want with a check and hand it to me at the beginning of the service, and I will get it back to you before the end of the day, and we'll be able to keep it uh, organized that way. So I appreciate it, and don't wait too long, because last year they sold in five days. Any other joys announcements for God's sightings? I do have an announcement to make that we do have a movie and dinner tomorrow night. Uh, also, uh, I understand that some folks aren't on the prayer chain where I thought I had most everybody. So if you want to be on the prayer chain uh, and have not been receiving them, let me know and we'll get your email address on the list. Thank you. <laughs> All right, please remain standing for the first hymn. The ushers will pick up the colored prayer request cards during the hymn. They're, they're, oh, it's Easter service. I'm reading off a normal service. I'm sorry. Thank you, Sam. Thank you all for having Wow, I'm really loud this morning. Thank you all for letting me do this this morning. I'm super nervous. Uh, Jimmy prayed over me. Everybody's praying over me. Pray over me. <laughs> yeah. Grace and peace to you from Jesus Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters in Christ, on this most holy morning, Jesus passed over from death to life. This is Passover of Christ, and we shall share in Christ's victory over death. Amen. Amen. Please bow with me. God of life, through your Son, Jesus Christ, you have sent the light of your life into this world. Kindle our hearts and minds with your holy desire and shine forth with the brightness of Christ rising to Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Congregation. The light of Christ, praise and glory, overcome the darkness of sin. Christ is our life. Let us hear the record of God's saving deeds in the history and pray that we may receive the fulfillment of, of this grace. With a word, God creates or, order in the primal watery chaos. God's great creation reaches in the pinnacle of humankind, the bearer of God's image. deep and the spirit of God was hovering over the waters and God said let there be light and there was light God saw 
that the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. And God said, let there be a vault between the waters to separate water from water. So God made the vault and separated the water under the vault from the water above it. And it was so. God called the vault sky, and there was evening, and there was morning, the second day. And God said, let the water under the sky be gathered to one place, and let dry ground appear. And it was so. God called the dry ground land, and the, he, and the gathered waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. <clears throat> then God said, let the land produce vegetation, seed-bearing plants and trees, on the land that bear fruit with seed in it, according to their various kinds. And it was so. The land produced vegetation, plants bearing seed according to their kinds, and trees bearing fruit with seed in it according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening, and there was morning, the third day. And God said, and God said, let there be lights in the vault of the sky to separate the day from the night and let them serve as signs to mark sacred times and days and years and let them be lights in the vault of the sky to give light on the earth. And it was so. God made two great lights, the greater light to govern the day and the lesser light to govern the night. He also made the stars. God set them in the vault of the sky to give light on the earth to govern the day and the night, and to separate light from darkness. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening, and there was morning, the fourth day. And God said, let the water teem with living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the vault of the sky. So God created the great creatures of the sea, and every living thing with which the water teems, and that, God, and that moves about in it, according to their kinds, and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and increase in number and fill the water in the seas and let the birds increase on the earth. And there was the evening and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, Let the land produce living creatures according to their kinds, the livestock, the creatures that move along the ground, and the wild animals, each according to its kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals according to their kinds, the livestock according to their kinds, and all the creatures that move along the ground according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Then God said, I give you every seed bearing plant on the face of the whole earth and every tree that has fruit and seed in it. They will be yours for food. And to all the beasts of the earth, and all the birds in the sky, and all the creatures that move along the ground, everything that has the breath of life in it, I give every green plant for food, and it was so. God saw all that he had made, and it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were completed in all their vast array. By the seventh day, God had finished the work he had been doing. So on the seventh day, he rested from all his work. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it he rested from all the work of creating that he had done. This is the account of the heavens and the earth when they were created, when the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. Thank you. Our first song this morning will be Morning Has Broken, found on page 145, and in your hand word to be on the screen. Okay. You 
can stand if you want to. There you go. I don't know. Morning has broken like the first morning. Blackbirds have spoken like the first bird. Praise for the singing. Praise for the morning. Praise for them singing fresh from the world. Sweet the rain to fall, sunlight from heaven, like the first to fall on the first grass. Praise for the sweetness of the wet garden, sprung in completeness where his feet pass. Mine is the sunlight, mine is the morning, born of Eden softly. Praise for elation. Praise every morning. God's recreation of the first day. Almighty God, your wonderful creator, yet more wonderful and restore the dignity of human nature. Grant that we may share the di diving life of the one who shared our humanity, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. Covenant between God and the earth. God causes the earth to overcome by sin, to be frowned in the watery dulls. Yet in, the, in Noah and his family, God saves remnant and binds all together in a covenant with the sign of a rainbow. A reading from Genesis 7, verses 1 through 5, 11 through 18, and 9, 8 through 13. The Lord then said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and your whole family, because I have found you righteous in this generation. Take with you seven pairs of every kind of clean animal, a male and its mate, and one pair of every kind of unclean animal, a male and its mate, and also seven pairs of every kind of bird, male and female, to keep their various kinds alive throughout the earth. Seven days from now, I will send rain on the earth for 40 days and 40 nights, and I will wipe from the face of the earth every living creature I have made. And Noah did all the Lord commanded him, in the 600th year of Noah's life, on the 17th day of the second month, on that day, all the springs of the great deep burst forth, and the floodgates of heavens were opened, and rain fell on the earth 40 days and 40 nights. On that very day, Noah and his sons, Shem, Ham, and Jephthah, together with his wife and wives of three sons, entered the ark. They had with them every wild animal according to its kind, all livestock according to their kinds, every creature that moves along the ground according to its kind, and every bird according to its kind, everything with wings. Pairs of all creatures that have the breath of life in them came to Noah and entered the ark. The animals going in were male and female of every living thing, as God had commanded Noah, then the Lord shut him in. For 40 days, the flood kept coming on earth, and as the waters increased, they lifted the ark high above the earth. The waters rose and increased greatly on the earth, and the ark floated on the surface of the water. Then God said to Noah and to his sons with him, I now establish my covenant with you and with your descendants after you 
and with every living creature that was with you, the birds, the livestock, and all wild animals, and those that came out of the ark with you, every living creature on earth. I establish my covenant with you. Never again will all life be destroyed by the waters of a flood. Never again will there be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, this is the sign of the covenant I am making between me and you and every living creature with you. A covenant for all generations to come. I have set my rainbow in the clouds and it will be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Okay, our next hymn will be A Mighty Fortress is, is Our God. We'll sing uh, verses one, two, and four, page 110. We'll remain seated for this one. How about that? Almighty God of heaven and earth, you set forth the clouds of rainbow to be a sign of your covenant with every living creature. Grant that we may be faithful stewards of the dominion you have entrusted us on this earth. According to the grace given to us through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Abram's trust in the God. Abram was tested when his God commanded him to sacrifice his own son. The embodiment of Jesus and God's promise to him through God's own provision on the mountain and the promise holds. Then God said, take your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the region of Moriah. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on a mountain I will show you. Early the next morning, Abraham got up and loaded his donkey. He took with him two of his servants and his son Isaac. When he had cut enough enough wood for the burnt offering, 
he set out for the place God had told him about. On the third day, Abraham looked up and saw the place in the distance. He said to his servants, stay here with the donkey while I and the boy go over there. We will worship and then we will come back to you. Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and placed it on his son Isaac, and he himself carried the fire and the knife. As the two of them went on together, Isaac spoke up and said to his father Abraham, Father, the fire and the wood are here, Isaac said, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham answered, God himself will provide the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. And the two of them went on together. When they reached the place God had told him about, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. He bound his son Isaac and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. Then he reached out his hand and took the knife to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord called out to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham. He said, here I am. Do not lay a hand on the boy. Do not do anything to him. Now I know that you fear God because you have not withheld from me your son, your only son. Abraham looked up and there in a thicket he saw a ram caught by its horns. He went over and took the ram and sacrificed it as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called that place, the Lord will provide. And to this day it is said, on the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham from heaven a second time and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you have done this and you have not withheld your son, your only son, I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and the sand on the seashore. Your descendants will take possession of the cities of their enemies, and through your offspring, all nations on earth will be blessed because you have obeyed me. Our next hymn will be Trust and Obey. We'll sing all four verses, page 467. Why don't, why don't we go ahead and stand? <laughs> When we walk with the Lord in the light of His Word, what a glory He sheds on our way. While we do His good will, He abides with us still, and with all who will trust and obey. Trust and obey. For there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Not a burden we bear, not a sorrow we share, but our toll he done richly repay. Not a grief or a loss, not a frown or a cross, but it's blessed if we trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. But we never can prove the delights of His love until all on the altar we lay. For the favor he shows, for the joy he bestows, or for them who will trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Then in fellowship sweet, 
we will sit at his feet, or we'll walk by his side in the way. What he says we will do, where he sends we will go. Never fear, only trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Gracious God of all believers, through Abram's trust and your promise, you made known your faithful love to the countless numbers. By the grace of Christ's sacrifice fulfill in your church, in all of creation, the joy of your promise in a new covenant. Amen. Israel's deliverance at the Red Sea. The ruler who kept God's people in slavery pursues them to the Red Sea as they try to escape. Despite the hopeless situation, God rescues his people, leading them on to dry land to the parted sea and closing the waters on their former masters. Miriam then sings a song about God's marvelous deliverance. I will sing... Oh. That me? I will not sing. <laughs> wow, that's a long time ago. and sing this with some joy, okay? Savior as once you delivered by the power our mighty arm you chosen Israel through the waters of the of the sea so deliver your church and all its people on earth from bondage and oppression to rejoice and serve in freedom through Jesus Christ our deliverer amen salvation offered freely freely to all the prophet Isaiah issued an invitation of abundance of life to the hungry and the thirsty I go too fast. I'm sorry. Just a second. I forgot to lift that one up to get ready. Just a
your face, Lord, do I seek. Hide not your face from me. Seek the Lord who is now present. Call upon the Lord who is near. Let the wicked forsake their way and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them return that the Lord may have mercy upon them, that our God may abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and return not but water the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and the bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I intend and prosper in the things for which I sent it. Stay seated. Page 641. We'll sing that twice. <laughs> to the thirsty and food to the hungry. Refresh, refresh us by water of baptism and feed us with the bread and wine from your table and that your word may bear fruit in our lives and bring us all the heavenly banquet. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. Buried and raised with Christ in baptism, the Apostle Paul reminds us that Christ, we have already died, drowned in his baptism, yet who have died, raised to a newness of life. Readings from Romans 6, 3 through 11. Or don't you know all that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that, just as Christ was raised from dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly also be united with him in a resurrection like his. For we know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body ruled by sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves to sin because anyone who has died has been set free from sin. Now, if we died with Christ, we believe that we also live with him. For we know that since Christ was raised from the dead, he cannot die again. Death no longer has mastery over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. In the same way, count yourselves dead to sin, but alive to God through Christ Jesus. The reading of the lesson today is from Mark 16, 1 through 8. The Pharisees and Sadducees, I'm so, I knew I'd mess that word up, came to Jesus and tested him by asking him to show him a sign from heaven. He replied, When evening comes, you, you say, It will be fair weather, by the sky is red, and in the morning today it will, it will be stormy, 
for the sky is red and overcast. You know that how to interpret the experience of the sky, but you cannot interpret the signs of the times. A wicked and adulterous generation looks for a sign, but not but, but not none will be given it except the sign of jo Jonah. Jesus then left them and went away. Jesus warns against the wrong teachings. When they went across the lake, the disciples forgot the to take the bread. Be careful, Jesus said to them. Be on the guard against the yeast of the Pharisees and Sadducees. They discussed the among themselves and said, it is because we don't bring any bread. Aware of their discussion, Jesus asked, you of little faith, why are you t t talking among yourselves and having no bread? Do you, not, do you still not understand do you not remember the five loaves and the 5,000 and how many basketfuls you gathered or the 17th loaves for the 4,000 and how many basketfuls were gathered? This is the word of God for the people of God. Amen. Our next, our next song is going to be He Lives, found on page 310. Let's let us let us stand. I serve a risen Savior, he's in the world today. I know that he is living, whatever foes may say. I see his hands of mercy, I hear his voice of cheer. And just the time I need him, he's always here. He lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. In all the world around me, I see his loving care. And though my heart grows weary, I never will despair. I know that he is leading through all the stormy blast. The day of his appearing will come at last. He lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. Rejoice, rejoice, O Christians, lift up your voice and sing. Eternal hallelujah to Jesus Christ the King. The hope of all who see Him, the help of all who find. None other is so loving, so good and kind. He lives, He lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, He lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know He lives. He lives within my heart. Amen. Uh, there's part missing here of, for the prayers. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to kind of wing this. So anyway, uh, prayer request today. We got healing and prayers for Pastor Jimmy. Uh, prayers for our church family. Prayer for the Atkins family, the loss of a brother Doug, and travel and mercenaries. For, mercies for the family coming from Michigan. Uh, again, Pastor Jimmy, our world, Bill and Julie, Cecil and Ginger, Steve Cousins Surgery, Tillman and Sue, Jim and Zadie, Jane Ann, and all of our church and Pastor Jimmy. Uh, also Claire Hodges, 
uh, Cecil's sister. Uh, her husband passed away last night, so be in prayer for them. Pastor Jimmy, Joe Partry, Julie C., mom and sister, flu recovering, and Linda Christensen. Uh, if we can bow our heads for a moment and pray for these folks here. Lord, Father in heaven, we thank you so much for this church family. We love you so much. Thank you for this day. In your son's name, amen. All right. <clears throat> so for our offertory prayer. Graciousness and God, we call the death and claims your only son, who amazed us with the resurrection. So Christ is again and here to determine his humble offering to the gifts that were transformed the world through our witness to you. We let our very lives at your feet, O God, knowing that you will use us to proclaim and embody the gospel. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Scheme of man can never pluck 
me from his hand till he returns or calls me home. Here in the power of Christ I stand. Christians, what do we believe in? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. And the third day He rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is set at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From the dead to the grave, the judge, the quick, and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Gee, man, I can't do communion. Huh? Are you ready for the next thing? Yeah, awesome. no communion today. We're going to go. <laughs> we're going to stand for this one because this is Christ the Lord is risen today. We'll sing the first four verses with vigor and pride in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. <laughs> May the power of the Lord and the Holy Spirit go with you this week and cover you. 
and I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Amen. 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 Our sending forth is going to be the refrain from up from the grave. Let's see. Up from the grave he arose with the mighty triumph o'er his foes. He arose a victor from the dark domain, and he lives forever with his saints to reign. He arose, he arose, hallelujah, Christ the Lord. Go forth in service to the Lord.